Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss about short-term notes payable and calculate interest. What is the definition of short-term note payable? It is a written promissory note. Under this agreement, a borrower obtains a specific amount of money from a lender and promises to pay it back with interest over a certain period. In other words, the company signs a written promissory note or agreement and agrees to pay a, a specific amount of money on demand with interest at a definite time and for short term notes payable must be paid within the year. The company recognized as liability to repay principal amount borrowed and interest on specific date in the future to the bearer. Okay look at the example the Valley Company Limited signs a RM ten thousand 60 days notes payable with interest rate 12 percent so rm 10,000 represent for principal 60 days the amount of day and the rate is 12 percent how to compute interest under notes payable the formula is principal times rate time Time equals to the interest. Rate is always calculated annually. And we can look at the example of computing interest. Number one, RM20,000 face value of principal 5% interest and 120 days term. So when you want to calculate interest, RM20,000 times 5% times 120 over 365 three, days in a year and you get the interest RM328.77. Note 2, RM50,000 face value and then given 5% interest and 6 months term. So when you want to calculate interest, RM50,000 times 5% times 6 over 12 and you will get RM1250. There are a few steps when you want to prepare the journal entry. Number one, you have to record cash receipt or issuance of notes payable, debit cash or bank credit notes payable. Number two, you have to record the payment of the note and interest at the maturity date. So, debit, notes payable, debit interest expense, and credit cash or bank. Now, look at example 1 for short-term notes payable. Lily Enterprise borrowed RM20,000 from Royal Bank and signed a promissory note on 1st January 2019. 60 days, notes payable. Annual rate, annual interest rate is 12%. So we assume that 365 days per annum. So you are required to prepare the journal entry. Number one, to record cash received issued from notes payable. And number two, to record the payment of the notes and the interest on the maturity date. Now, how to calculate interest and maturity date? First, you have to write down the date starting from 1st of January until 31st of January 2019. We have 31 days. Number two, 1st February 2019 until 28th of February 2019. You have 28 days. And the last one, 1st of March 2019. You have one day. So the total that you have to calculate for interest is 60 days. 
So, the date of maturity is 1st of March 2019. <clears throat> How to calculate interest? The formula is 60 days over 365 per year, 365 days per year times 20,000 and times 12%. And then you will get RM394.52. Well, so this is the journal entry that you have to record. The first one to record cash received. So, <clears throat> 1st of January, debit cash or bank 20,000 and credit notes payable. Number two, to record the payment of the note and interest on the maturity date. So we choose March of the first March. Debit notes payable 20,000. Debit interest expense 394.52. Just now I have showed you how to calculate interest expense. And credit cash or bank that we have to pay to the bank. RM 20,300. 94.52 cents. So, this is the formula how to calculate interest. The example two short term notes payable on 1st November 2019, Smart Enterprise borrowed RM 10,000 from Oriental Bank at 6% for. Five months accounting period ending on 31st December. Now you are required first to prepare the general entry to record date of issuance of notes payable. Number two, prepare the general entry to record interest expense at 31st December 2019. And the last one, you are required to prepare the general entry to record the payment of the notes and interest on maturity date. Now, I will show you how to calculate in the interest based on the data given. So, we have to calculate the interest from 1st November until 31st December 2019. So there are about two months. We have to make an adjustment at the end of 31st December 2019. We have to accrue interest expense. And from 1st January until 31st March, there are three months. So we have to pay the notes payable at the maturity date, that is 31st March. So, from 1st January until 31st March, there is an expense incurred. Now, we have to record the journal entry or to prepare the journal entry to record date of issuance of notes payable. Or you want to record cash received. So, the date is 1st of November, debit cash and credit notes payable. And the narration is received cash in exchange for 5 months, 60% notes. Number 2, we have to prepare the journal entry to record interest expense on 31st December 2019. So that means we have to make an adjustment. Debit, interest expense and credit. Interest payable. So this is the date of accounting period where we have to make an adjustment to accrue the interest expense. So this is the this is the formula how to calculate the interest.
10,000 times 6% times 2 months over 12 months. 2 months that means from November until December. So the amount of interest is RM100. And the third one, prepare journal entry to record the payment of the notes and interest on maturity date. So, the maturity date is 31st March, debit notes payable, debit interest expense 150, debit interest payable 100, credit, cash. So, the narration paid notes and interest at maturity date. So you can see that the interest is divided, divided by into two parts. The first one, interest expense. We have to calculate for three months from January until 31st of March. And another one is interest payable. We have to calculate from 1st of November until 31st of December. So you get interest payable. Don't forget to watch my next video. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.